It's now time to create the header of uh, Dribble.com. So we know that the header of uh, Dribble has a width of 940 pixels wide and an height of 59 pixels. So we drag and drop a rectangle on the wireframe and uh, we, we put it the right width and height. To do that, you can either use the mouse by selecting a corner of the rectangle and trying to adjust to the height that you are looking for, but it's not very convenient. Um, the best is ex is actually when you know the dimension that you want to have is to use the the widget property panel on the on the right side of the screen. So you type 940 pixels here, and you hit tab, and you put the height that you are looking for, and this is it. Now you know that the rectangle has the exact width and height that you are looking for. Once it's done, and because it's going to be the header of, uh, of uh, your wireframe, you can put your header at the top upper left corner of the, of the canvas. Here you now have the header. We'll try to add a logo to, um, to your wireframe by using a placeholder. Basically, it's a, it's a convention to, um, to add an image as a placeholder in, uh, in a wireframe because you don't really want to have a graphic, uh, to have graphics elements in your wireframe um, because basically the wireframes are meant to be given to designers and if you put too much inspiration in your wireframe, uh, you will actually probably um, give some ideas uh, and some guidelines to your designer and he won't be as creative as, as uh, if he just sees these kind of images in your wireframe. So it's up to you of course but I strongly suggest not to use uh, images on your wireframe. Then uh, let's place the logo. Here we've placed the logos and we'll now um, place the menu here. We have five items of the menu uh, for now, we'll just use. Um, we we won't uh, do this kind of display mechanism with uh, the the drop down menu that appears when you mouse over it. So um, we are going to add the text panel here. We uh, will do that, and we place it where you want it to appear. So shots. I copy and paste it. So what I did was to uh, press. Uh, Apple C and Apple V uh, to actually copy and paste the, the text. So I write players here and when I'm, I'm finished editing it I just press escape and that's it. Then explore Apple C, Apple V jobs Apple C, Apple V about. Then I'm going to align them up. So it's not really well aligned and it's it's not it's not well done. So to align elements, I actually give you uh, two tools that are very very efficient and that I use all the time. It's called the distribute and the align uh, tools. If you click here, you notice that it's distributed vertically and you can also make sure that they are all uh, align here that way. So basically, if I if I was doing that, I select them all, and if I click on align top, boop, everything is aligned on the top. It's as simple as that. We we'll leave that um, for now because we don't want to have to add any more colors or um, weight to the typography here or anything like that. We will use. Um, the very basic style that is provided uh, at first by Axure and then we'll add some styling to it. And on the right side of the screen we know that there is a search box here, a button saying go and a sign in uh, tool. Uh, so I click on text panel, I add it here. Oh, we also have um, have guides to help you. It's like a bit like Photoshop, for instance. Uh, you can add as many uh, as many guides as you want, just to make sure that everything is properly aligned. This is another way to make sure that uh, that everything is properly aligned. Then here um, we are going to place the the inputs the, the input uh, box. Sorry, and we know that it's 
it's exactly 186 pixels wide so I put a text field it's 100 and <laughs> sorry I just forgotten 186 and 14 okay so I, I'm going to uh, make it bigger because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna look very bad and I can place a button saying go okay it's pretty dry right now but don't worry we are going to make it better so you can move on the left and uh, we'll try to add the content now uh, by the way if you want to use the mouse to go through your wireframe you can you can use the sliders there but it's not convenient at all what I strongly suggest you is to press the space bar and as soon as you press the space bar you can see the cursor here that moves from a pointer to a map to a hand and once it's it's pressed you simply have us to to left click and to well to to navigate uh, on your wireframe by uh, with your mouse it's it's so much easier that way you know uh, it goes it goes it goes faster basically